Alright guys, welcome to my first game of BPX. I'm playing against Epos, who is on Mile Black. They're on the play. Okay, that's not good for me. And this hand is, uh, yeah, I'm all gaming that down. Hopefully I don't get discarded too hard. Okay, and this hand is not that much better. But do I really want to go down to, uh, do I really want to go down to the 5? And I think the answer is no, so I will keep this. Does me have to bomb something? And then I'll bomb a Tyrant. Because I'm not going to play it anytime soon. And the second Ramsey is insurance against if they try to discard the first one. Yeah, ready to go. Alright, so let's get the first game underway. I'm going to start with the Swamp. I'm missing my... Yeah, that's discard. On the bright side, I, I can afford to discard one of my three drops. They're probably going to take one of them. So they're probably going to take Petal Scatter. So I'll just have to set up for a recall on, uh, on three, which is fine. And of course, I can always just top deck Primal Resurgence and that'd be really nice. They're going to take Ramsey and... What? Are they planning to double discard Ram... Okay, yeah, I guess that works. Yeah, yeah. That means I have another discard spell. Okay, but at least I drew land, so I can always... I can guarantee that I play what my three drops on three. I don't think this is what Ram deck wants to do. Uh, like, actually play on curve. It wants to get ahead of the curve. So what's the discard spell this time? Another pay up? Alright, sure. They can also... Okay, they're not going to gun for the three drop. They're just going to double discard Ramsey. Maybe they have... No, they don't have anything else. Okay, sure. A Reclamation Growth Sculptor. Yeah, that's a bit slow. So I guess I just have to play my 3 drop on 3. Which I don't want to do because it, it's way too fair for a ramp deck to do, to do that. Anyways, so on 3. I mean, they don't have any pro series, So that's good sign. I think they're out of discard spells by now. Uh, what? They're holding up something? No, I think they're just mana screwed right now. I mean, uh, they're stuck. They don't have anything good pl to play. Or maybe they're holding some removal spells. So now, do I go Pale Scatter first or Recall first? Uh, recall can draw me into more lands, but Pale Scatter gets on board. I mean, Pale Scatter is going, going to be a 3 3. Uh, does it die to anything super important? Like, okay, what can they be holding up right now? They're probably holding up removal, so I probably should not try to play into removal. Right? Uh, or I use Pale Scatter to eat up the remo removal first. I think I play yeah, I play Pale Scatter. No, I, I play Recall first because they don't get to use their instant. They don't have any instant speed removal. Alright, yeah, I, I just play Pale Scatter first, because that's guaranteed mana. I don't want to play Recall and then not draw any lands. I'm assuming this is going to get Fair Trialed, because that's the only thing that makes sense for them to be holding right now. They'll also be holding an Eagle right now. Uh, can I answer that? Uh, not super well. Oh, okay, I get a Poison Counter. Th that's the first time I've seen the second part of Ego actually go off. So I just need one non-creature before I can start attacking into Ego. They probably want to trade though, so... I want to get this thing at least to 5-5 five, five before I start attack. Okay, stand on the slayable. That's not great. I mean, that's one of the cards I put in so that I don't, I don't lose to ram chip damage, like from Jijin or whatever. Because last GP I lost, or yeah, in one of the games I lost because I had no way to gain life. So eventually they just pinned me down with their creatures until I was in Jijun range. But yeah, I'm just going to start with Recall Forgotten Aeons. Let's see what I draw. Okay, and that's not good because I did not get the extra land drop, and I also did not get an extra land, and this thing's tapped, so I don't even get to play Ramsey this turn. Well, uh, that's unfortunate. And layer and alpha. Uh, do I want that on top? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, they're asking about with, with Infectious Eagle lets them play land, and apparently it does, even though you, you get a poison counter. Okay, so I think I need lands more than I need layer and alpha right now, right? I can actually, next turn, I can go Ramsey into layer and. Or, I mean, it can go Ramsey, and then turn afterwards I go Leyran. That's not great, though, right? I think I would much rather prefer just actual lands off the top. Yeah, I'm gonna bomb this. And do I just... Why do I let them t take? Or, actually, uh, the reason I bomb this is because Infectious Ego gets to exile Leyran off the top. Actually, do I want that to happen? Uh, they can get Leyran somewhat soon. Yeah, I don't want that to happen. So, in that case, uh, I just pass. I'm not super happy about this. The next turn, at least have Recall into Ramsey, and then that sets up for enough mana for me to coalesce Recall next turn, or play Reclamation Grove Sculptor, this, uh, force their Pilot Fools. And they're at 5 mana now. Uh, they still don't have a removal spell for Petal Scatter. They'll break. Okay, yeah, that that's extremely bad for me. Do they have something else that also blows me out? Thought that spans realms. Well, at least this thing, at least the first mode doesn't do anything, but the second mode definitely does, and now they're gonna discard me afterwards. Which is not fun to deal with. And they exile my only Lumbering Hillock. Cool. Getting everything they need off the top. And now they have a bunch of menacing guys. 
Uh, I think I need. I do. I need to. Actually, I can recommend Green Girl Sculptor to plot so that it prevents them from being the last chapter off of it, but that means I need to play Reclamation Grove Sculptor instead of an actual creature. I mean, I can go Ramsey into Reclamation. That's something, I think. I don't want to do that. It means that I don't get to go up to 7 mana next turn, but it does mean that I get a Ramsey plus a Reclamation on board, so Ram Ramsey can start blocking their Jasper, and Reclamation Grove Sculptor does block Infectious Eagle pretty well. Okay, yeah, I I've sold myself on that play. I I'll go for it. So yeah, play Ramsey, use the... Uh... Ramsey mana in order to play Grove Sculptor, and Grove Sculptor gets rid of plot that spans realms. And if Grove Sculptor manages to live and attack next turn, I get to turn off Polyp Pools. Uh, they're playing two Polyp Pools, so no point in destroying the first one immediately, I think. Yeah, so do they have a re removal spell? I'm assuming they're holding up. No, they're not, right? If they had the Fair Trial, they would have used it way earlier. And also, Reclamation Grove Sculptor is basically immune to all of their removal. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, four mana? It Oh, 5 mana Zanagan. Okay, yeah, that's scary. They're gonna play Lumbering Hellock. Uh, I'm assuming they're... Are they minusing Zanagan? <laughs> okay, so if they... Let's say they use Zanagan, they get Ex Exalted Emblem, and they can attack with Ego as a 5-5. Five five. They're probably gonna do that, and then I have to decide whether I want to trade with Ego or not. I don't want... Oh, they're just not going to... Did they forget about the Emblem? I, I guess they did. Okay, cool. Uh, anyways... Prime oh, well, they didn't forget about it. Anyways, Primary Surgeons. Uh, unfortunately, a bit late. I'm going to attack with Grove Sculptor, uh, turn off, or just get rid of Zangan. They can't ever activate Lumbering Hillock because, yeah, they don't have the right colors. If I attack with Grove Sculptor, they have to double block in order to kill it. I mean, they can block the Soulbreaker plus Sir Jasper, and that does kill Reclamation Grove Sculptor, which I'm not super happy about, but I think I'm alright with that happening. So I have to attack, turn off Zangan. They get a bunch of mana, but they don't have much to do with it, except for Infectious Ego, getting them more land drops or whatever. Anyways, so attack with Grove Sculptor, uh, play Primary Surgeons, play Recall. Well, I should probably see, I should probably just see what I draw into before I start attacking. Uh, unfortunately, the mana doesn't work out, or the sequency doesn't work out super well, so I, I, I end up blowing mana. Okay, and I get to play a 3-drop, but I don't get to... If they have some way to exile my graveyard, that's pretty painful. I finally got up to enough mana to start coalescing these guys, and these guys will start outsiding their guys. I guess it just plays stand unassailable and attack, because there's no point in wasting the mana. Uh, so it'll go up to 23. I mean, stat <clears throat> does give me a pretty good life buffer. Anyways, yeah, uh, get rid of the Zan again. The Exalted Emblem is kind of annoying though. Let's see, yeah, they do trade. Alright, I'm fine with that trade. Also, uh, yeah, Vivian for next turn too. we go Recall or Vivian next turn. I think I want to play out all my Recalls before they start exiling them, so I think I will Recall first. And they are starting to run out. Hopefully they, they're they running out of things. Do they have Blood Jade Prophet? Yeah, they have Blood Jade Prophet, and that'd be a really good top deck for them. And, okay. Uh, two mana spell? No, they're thinking about it. They're going to play out their Wayfarer Shrine, or my Wayfarer Shrine. And they're going to fetch now. Come on, okay, please give it back. That Wayfarer Shrine belongs to me. Thank you. Uh, three drop. Okay, if it's Blood Jade Prophet, that's really bad for me. If it's not Blood Jade Prophet, then I think I'm in an, an alright position. Okay, it is Blood Jade Prophet. Okay, and they do f no, they flip into the Blood Jade. Okay, that's yeah, that's they have fuel, so now I need to actually start grinding. But I'm at enough mana to start coalescing recalls, so that's pretty good. And I'm gonna keep the antelope around because uh, it's sack fodder for Soulbreaker of Makatesh. Uh, do they have another? They're just gonna play no, they have another, another Zagan or Jijin. Okay, uh, yeah, that's a problem. Do I just take everything into the face? I have to, right? Because I don't want to get... Well, this is gaining me 6 life. And I always depend on... If I keep this guy around, I don't lose to a single sack effect. I think it's worth keeping this guy around. But they go up... Yeah, you know, they go up 10 life. I just have trouble be This deck just has trouble beating... Uh, oh, ah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, if I find a red source, I get to Tyrant next turn. And that is probably enough to stabilize. So I just need to survive until then. And uh, next turn, if they attack with everything, I block, block. Maybe it doesn't help me, right? Yeah, Vivian can't get me more lands, uh, but re Recall might, so I, I should do that. Alternatively, I can go Recall, hopefully... Actually, how much mana ma do I have? Seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if Recall draws me into another land, I get to Recall and then play Vivian. Vivian makes a Trump Blocker. And that's, I don't think that's enough. Yeah, I should just play Big... Uh, well, well, Big Recall also dies to Fair Trial. Do I just die if they kill my guy? Do they have enough mana to play... Like, if they kill both my guys, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah, that's, I just die if that happens. 
Is Vivian better in that scenario? No, not really. All right, I'm just gonna uh, play out recall. Or actually, huh? I can play stand on this level. Does that do anything? It forces them to sack something to to gym, but then they can attack with it. Yeah, I'm just gonna play it stand on saleable. Okay, and that gets me my land, but that's not a red source. Well, and that's also not a blue source, so I'm still bottlenecked on colors right now, which is I guess one downside of this deck in that your colors aren't great. So now I just have to try to survive another turn, or I have to hope that to top that uh, top deck a red source. Okay, uh, is this fair trial? No, they're playing Flood Jade number two. Uh, at least that means they probably don't have two removal spells. Okay, yeah, there is a fair trial. So I'm going to have to trump this turn, and I have to hope to top deck blues or, or a red source. Does, does the red source even save? No, it doesn't, because they sack all their lands, and they still kill me with the June. Uh, that's annoying. They have Swarming Midden, too. Yeah, there it goes. Recall Forgotten Aeons. So would, have, would Vivian have been better here? Uh, maybe. Well, no, they still exile, exile my creature. But at least I, I had a Vivian lying around, but I wouldn't have drawn to two cards or no i would have drawn two cards off to recall hmm. yeah i'm not sure they can also just sack a demon right now like uh no they don't want to sack pilot pools but they are going to sack pilot pools all right well it doesn't lethal me though or i can chump block the infectious ego and they can't fly jejun next turn so that's something no they can just fetch with profane and then get the demon for jejun what do they flip vivian uh so now i go down to three I think my deck just has a bad matchup against fair decks that can uh, chew through a bad matchup against fair decks that have decently sized creatures that also gain them a bunch of life because my deck doesn't have a good way to chew through life totals super quickly. Okay. All right, so what's my out here? Literally nothing because I don't have board wipes. Uh, and yeah, well, uh, I can try drawing some more cards. I mean, that's usually... Okay, yeah, there we go. So how do I beat this post board? Because I can't go more mid-range than them, but they have way better boards against me, right? They have Seal the Tomb and Curl's Downfall and Friends. And anyways, so Reclamation Girl Sculptor is good. I don't think Sackbow is that good. Stand, I, I still keep in one stand because it's good for stabilizing. I think I, call, call, uh, I cut Raise Cultivator because that's the weakest card in the deck. Actually, is Hadik good? Uh, No, it's not because they don't have enough non-creatures for it to matter. And all their non creatures yeah, and it, they have Exile removal, so yeah, it literally doesn't matter. Uh, I think I just need to be faster than Sackbow good. No, I don't think so. Uh, in that case, is Raised Cultivator good? Eh, no, I'm just going to run this back. And let's see. Uh, oh, there we go. Birds of Encroaching Water. So that's my, my perfect turn one play. And they can't get rid of my turn two play because I have two Pell Scatters. So this is a game where I get to curve out, which makes everything a lot easier. I think my deck is mostly predicated on getting good nut draws because yeah I definitely need it. because a one drop into a three drop is extremely powerful. I just realized that if this like if this pedal scar was a raised cultivator, this curve would be a lot less impressive. I mean, I still get I still get to ramp up a bunch, but yeah, a lot less impressive because all I get is a two one for my troubles. Beldez, yeah, high or low. I'm assuming they lay name low and I just discarded one of the pedal scatters. So this is always fetching for so this is always fetching Lemmy Hillock. And that's yeah. Urban Valdez managed to get a hand that was pretty well uh defended against it just because I had two three drops. And now I'm starting to run out of things to do. Because uh I need to top deck another land in order to play Reclamation Gold Sculptor next turn. Curse of Encroaching Wire is only Rhapsody once, which is still really good, but anyways, now I'll get a three mana four for it that ramps me. It probably just dies to a fair trial. Or a sack effect. They boarded in more Kuro's Downfall, right? Well, Kuro's Downfall doesn't kill this thing. Okay, Fair Trout does, though. So now I need to top deck a playable card next turn, or else I just ha I just do nothing. Uh, Vivian. Yeah, okay, this is not going well. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm probably just gonna end up top decking a string of unplayable cards and then lose from that. I hate when that happens. Uh, so Blood Jade Prophet starts flipping cards. Uh, I need to really draw something useful quick, or else I can't keep up with them. Okay, they top deck a bunch of lands. But they get to take Swarm Midden, which is a land that I need to deal with. Alright, so land, please, or a playable card. Wayfair's Lantern. And that it is playable and it doesn't ramp me, but it's one turn too late. So, uh, that's really annoying. I get to start, I get to play later on Alpha next turn, but they get, they just get two free turns. I, I don't think I can catch up to that, even with later on Alpha. Unless they don't have anything super great. They have, <clears throat> okay, they have Eagle. Uh, 
Or are they just going to play Valdez? Don't be surprised if they just play Valdez. Because that implies they have nothing but... Yeah, there's the Eagle. And they flip a land, and they poison me, so now their sack guy is live, and I can't answer Eagle easily. <clears throat> I can play later on Alpha and just keep these guys back as blockers. Okay, and now I get the lands I need. Uh, I need... I, I just keep this guy back. Uh, Vivian can flip me into plays, so if I Vivian plus plus, uh, creature gets killed, they attack Vivian, that's really bad for me. I just play Layering Alpha and then Vivian minus and see if what I can do with that. Yeah. And this is fetching blue, I think, right? Yeah, because I'm bound. No, I keep this around in case I need to fetch red. But yeah, Layering Alpha, no attacks. If they attack with Infectious Ego, I'm going to trade Layering Alpha for, Layering Alpha for it because I want to survive more than, than they want to kill me, and getting rid of Ego also gets rid of one of their sources of life gain. I mean, they don't have anything that can one-shot the layer and Alpha, so, or they don't have any removal spells that can one-shot the layer and Alpha, so they have to play fairly to kill that. They're gonna play the land off Ego. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and is this going to be another Ego? No, it's Plot that spams their elves, which kills a wolf. Now well, they can't activate the second mode this turn unless they use another removal spell. Okay, what do they flip? Island. Uh, that... Actually, it's bad for me because I can't fetch blue now. But yeah, now I trade everything off because I want the board to be uh, not complicated. It seems like the, the trade does go through. That's good. I get to slam Vivian on the empty board. Uh, do you keep this? Yeah. Uh, should I just fetch Mountain before it? No, I shouldn't. That is something to think about. Like, maybe I should fetch in response to Eagle in case they exile my only basic of a, single, of a certain color. Hey, up. Okay, uh... I think I'm all right with discarding or discarding not Vivian. Actually, don't I have a Reclamation Grove Sculptor in the sideboard? What happened to? I did bring in Reclamation Grove Sculptor, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, take your treasure. I have more than mat, more mana than you need, so I'm fine. Just giving you treasures, unless you have two discard spells, you don't. Good. Uh, Mysterious Cataract. Cool. So that's how. Uh, wait. More than three life in a tur in single ability. Okay, good. So that doesn't trigger if I fetch twice. So since this is never getting blue, uh, I have more than enough green. I can afford to fetch island off this, or no, I can afford to fetch a mountain with this, and I guess this is fetching shifting glade or forest. Well, I, I want to fetch before Vivian because I don't want to mill my only sources of something. But like I'm always doing this, so yeah, let's see what I have. <clears throat> uh, I can get mysterious cataract if I want. I might want to do that actually. Okay, what can Vivian flip? Uh, how much mana do I have access to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So if Vivian flips a 3 drop, I want to have Mysterious Cataract up. Uh, do I have another green, uh, blue source? I, I don't, right? Yeah, right, Shifting Glade is also gone. So yeah, no point. I can't actually get any blue, more blue sources, which means there's no point in fetching the mountain because I can always just fetch Flourish and Carbasa of that off of this. And I do want to fetch my red source before it gets milled or, or whatever. Yeah. So one, I need to use my one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Hey Vivian, let's see what Vivian flips. Ooh, Layran Alpha. Nice. Unfortunately, can't play it immediately, but that's pretty good for me. Uh, it probably just gets, it can easily get hand attacked, but I still get a Vivian in play, so I'm happy. Yeah, and now pass the turn. And they, I don't think they have a removal spell that once uh cleaning kills. Uh, no, they have Corral's downfall, which kills Vivian. If they have exactly Corolla's Downfall, they can kill Vivian and leave me. Uh, or no, they can't activate Corolla's Downfall though. Or they can't enable two modes on Corolla's Downfall. So either Vivian dies or Layer and Alpha goes, but they can't get rid of both. And now I get to start dropping Layer and Alphas. The fact that they traded off their creatures though, does imply that they have more in store for me. Yeah, so Vivian, if I flip into Tyrant Tributes, I can play it. And that probably kills. Uh, yeah, that's really good for me. Gets rid of half their lands. And it's a big guy on board. Snowbreaker. And okay, yeah, that so that guy goes. I don't think they have a way to give their guys haste, so I don't have to worry about plots triggering. I don't think. Oh, Jejun. Ah, uh, uh, they have Jejun, don't they? Yeah, uh, they can one-shot Vivian. So now I'm on top, I'm in top deck mode again. And now they're also like gaining 6 life per turn, which I can't really beat until I get rid of Jejun, which I also can't really get rid of. Which is, uh, yeah, it's definitely showing the weaknesses of the deck. I guess I can play a bunch of guys and try to trade with it, but that's not really good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 mana. Vivian. If I, I can play Vivian and try to flip into something, but if it doesn't flip into anything, that's really bad for me. I need to flip into a 3 drop, but I also, if I flip into a Tyrant, I need to take it, which means I don't get to play a 3 drop, so I just have a 2-2 that 
but wimp 22 that needs to stop the June from killing me. Uh, do I have a higher chance of winning if I go for broke rather than just playing Lay Man Alpha and back to block? Lay Man Alpha isn't even racing this guy because it has lifelink. How do I kill Jejun? Okay, what do I have? Literally nothing, right? Just, I guess this is one of the situations where Big Slug would be better than what I have currently because at least Big Slug blocks Jejun, or at least forces Jejun to use the ability to attack through. But yeah, if I play Big Slug right now, or if I play Lair right now, I just I have to hope my opponent has nothing, and then if they do, then I keep back to June for a turn. If they have anything, they kill Leiran, they attack to June, I have to chump. That's probably better than and then I have nothing for next next turn I have to do Vivian and hope to flip into something again. Well actually I do I have recall forgotten no I, I don't. Vivian can also flip me into Sand Unassailable, which actually does block to June. Maybe that's what I need to go for. Okay, yeah, I convinced myself to go for a Vivian plan instead of the Leiran plan. Which I'm not super happy about, but whatever. Alright, so what do I flip? Two, three, four. Stack bowl. Does that do anything? I also have Raise Cultivator, which looks really wimpy right now. Oh, actually, Pell Scour does block your doom if it gets big big enough. But yeah, I can play Sack bowl, uh, eat one of their lands, and then block your doom. Yeah, that's not great. So I take Raise Cultivator, I guess, and use it to block your doom. Or no, I take Layer and Alpha plus Vivian again. And then just keep playing a bunch of Lairan Alphas in a row. Does that beat them over Race Cultivator though? Well, at least it prevents a single kill spell from Jejun killing Vivian. And gets me more mana for multiple Lairan Alphas later on. I don't, I don't think Race Cultivator is correct, but at the same time, I'm going to take it. Feels wrong, but maybe it's correct. And that also mana fixes me, at least. So that's something. Anyways, yeah, let's hope that Trump Blocker goes the distance. I just need to keep protecting Vivian until it can flip me something useful. And I mean, Pale Scatters right now are huge, so... Okay, there goes Layer and Alpha. But that's fine, because that's not my main plan anyways. My main plan is to protect Vivian until it flips me something useful. I felt this is Menace now, which also is quite scary. So what's my long-term plan? My long-term plan is to play two Tyrants. Well, well if not the first Tyrant, at least get the second... Uh, yeah, if not the second Tyrant, at least get the first Tyrant down. But their long-term plan is just to keep playing big things. No, they have... Okay, so they have no cards, in, useful cards in hand. That's good to know. So maybe there's a chance. And I mean, oh, uh, well, there's... Uh, I've already used up one Pell Scatter, I guess. So, what do I draw? And unless... Okay, uh, that's useful. Because it gains me a bunch of life and it does block to June. Anyways, let's see what Pell Scatter... Or Vivian flips me. Uh, okay, I mean, that's fine. That's a Sack Bowl. So, in the Tire of Tributes waiting room, though. I mean, that's a recall, too, so that does... It dies to stuff, though. I can call us recall and kill Beldeds. Actually, no, I can... Can I call us... Yeah, I can call us stand and kill Juju. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's my win con. That's hilarious. Anyways, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, yes, I can't play stand and call us in the same turn. That will cause... Or that would cost um, 9 mana, which means I'm tapped out for a turn, but it... I ma did manage to do what I needed to do, so that is something. And let me just count my mana again. So 1, 2, <clears throat> play sand unassailable, go up to 23 life. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, it's exactsies right now. So that puts me up to 30 life. I'm, al I'm almost even. That's hilarious. And yeah, uh, go to June. I do need to trade with Veldaz though. Wait, Vivian, oh, Vivian just straight up kills stuff with flying, huh? Why I think it didn't it didn't do that? Okay, so I need to trade Stan and Sable to for for Valdez in order to make Vivian survive. And if they have any kill spell, then Vivian dies, and I have to start this all over again. But at least I have recall in the yard. So unless they grave hate me, I am mostly fine. I can start rebuilding. And then once the start, tyrants start coming down, I think I I probably win. Mindfall. Okay, there goes my sack bowl, and they can uh coalesce this guy. And a four seven is really hard for me to remove. At least it's unchumped. At least uh, I can chump it, I guess. Okay, they realize that they can't coalesce it, coalesce it right now. Uh, that's both my sack bowl, so I'm out of grave hate. So they, I can't prevent them from coalescing mind falters. I also don't have any Ramses currently. So that's something Vivian can flip. Uh, oh, uh, well, uh, yeah, there we go. So, Veldez, uh, so there goes Vivian. Uh, that's unfortunate. Oh, what? They're not going to attack Vivian? Okay, sure. Uh, in that case, uh, be my guest. I, I want Vivian around way more than I care about the creatures. 
it's legendary, so it's just going to make one of them. Uh, I guess Vivian's killing Valdez. There's some encroaching waters, not very useful. All right, let's see what Vivian flips. Hey, there's Pale Scatter, and okay, nothing else. I, I'm pretty happy with that because I got Pale Scatter. I can go Pale Scatter into Recall. Yes, I can. Wonderful. Okay, there's Pale Scatter, and there's the Blossom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm literally falling a mana right now. Do this, which is a lot of mana. I'll play Recall. Let's see what I draw. Oh, there's Ramsey. There's Wraithbear Shrine. Do I have any lands left? Well, I mean, good, uh, good time to find out. I have one land left. Okay, so let's see. I have my both my tyrants are at the bottom of my deck, which is sure it's fine because that means I'm gonna draw them eventually. I still have Lumber Hillock, which is nice. Uh, yeah, play Ramsey. Don't I don't get to play Curse of Encroaching Waters, so that's annoying. And do I one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Okay, so that guy's a nine nine. That's gonna be scary very soon. When I start attacking with, yeah, I do need to kill them eventually, so I should just start attacking with my guys. Do I minus Vivian to kill something? Uh, yeah, I do want to get Valdez out of the way, I think. First, I'm going to attack with Stan Unassailable. But let's see if they block. They can't answer my entire board, right? So Vivian minus, or Vivian plusing is pretty safe. Uh, Sir Jasper, I mean, that I need to give Ramsey up in order to block that. Maybe it is better just to kill it, this thing. Yeah, kill Sir Jasper so that I don't have to worry about blocks. I mean, do I ever care about ultimating Vivian? It might be a win condition, I guess. Yeah, let's just get this thing out of the way. So I'm starting to get back into this game, and they're in top deck mode, so they need to hit some good cards in order to actually do things. Seems like they top deck a land. Cool. Looks like luck is finally uh, coming back to me. Uh, oh, they get to coalesce the Mind Faltrus, and that's pretty big. Yep, there goes Curse of Encroaching Waters, which doesn't matter too much. Am I going to draw my top end now? Primary Surgeons? Uh, it's fine. Yeah, it gets a Ramsey trigger, so I'll do that now. All right, let's see what Vivian flips. Oh, there's Time of Tributes. Uh, do I play that? Uh, yeah, of course I do. Right, I play over... That's yeah, flying. Yeah, that, that's why. I also need to start worrying about the recalls because they might just, like, I literally I have a very real chance of getting mailed out by these guys, or getting de decked out, I mean. Well, they're going to draw, like, four extra cards in total. Or six extra cards total, so that's that's still not enough to deck me out, I don't think. Anyway, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Not enough to recall plus Trident. I mean, <clears throat> so that's 8 plus 7, that's 15. I, I can use up one of the primary, the land auras in order to do that. I probably should do that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so I should have two untapped sources right now. <coughs> Uh, seven. So that's Recall Forgotten Aeons. Let's see what I draw. Crumbling Shrine. Uh, I'm gonna fetch Lumbering Hallock with that. Well, let's see what Crumbling Shrine gets me first. Oh, well, I guess I don't have to fetch with Monsieur's Cataract. I'm gonna stop fetching, I think. Uh, did I play land this turn? I don't think I did, so I get to play Lumbering Hallock too. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight. I mean, I, I told myself that I wouldn't fetch that. I'm gonna fetch now, sure. Keeps, keeps around the land aura for I don't know what, but yeah, there's my last, last fetch bowl. So, yeah, Tyrant Tributes. Uh, have fun with Tyrant Tribute decisions. And I'm extremely likely to draw into another Tyrant. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah. 4, 5, 6. Yeah, it's, an, it's a 10, 10. Actually, I can Vivian Mize to kill the Mind Falters, which will, uh, yes, let my ground troops through. But that kills Vivian. I think I'm alright with Vivian dying right now because I'm already super ahead right on board right now. And I can't really afford to Vivian that much longer anyways because I that would just cause me to mill out. Yeah sure, let, let's go for it. Uh, kill your mind falters. And start attacking. Uh, actually this guy's sm slightly smaller now because, yeah. Alright, like I can still win the game from 3 life if I just manage to stabilize and get, on, get ahead on board. Oh, Eagle, that might actually mill me out. No, it's not. Alright, you know, that was a close game, but I was on the draw, which was super important in this matchup, because I need to get to turn 1 ramp before they can discard it. Otherwise, do I bring in more stand on the because they, they kill the the Jadrooms? No, that has to be wrong. I think I'm going to board out one more raised cultivator for a sack bowl, right? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, whatever. And okay, there we go, That's so that's turn 1 ramp, and if I if I turn my ramp gets discarded, then I still have turn 2 ramp. If I turn 2 ramp gets discarded, I turn 3 ramp. So yeah, that's perfect. Exactly what I want. And the only way I get screwed over is if I don't draw any lands. 
or if I turn my map gets discarded and I don't draw any lands. Uh, it probably is going to get discarded because they have a bunch of uh, one mana discard spells. Well, uh, looks like dance. Looks like I was wrong. Uh, pretty ballsy to keep a hand with no one drop, especially against, especially on the play against map because like that's the main advantage when you're on the play against this deck. You get to discard the turn one map. Well, now that they didn't do that, I'm in a much better position now because yeah, I just get to oh, hell. Uh, you have your two mana four four. Oh, I have my three mana four four that ramps me. But yeah, let, let's just do the thing. Uh, so <clears throat> Ramsey into Pell Scatter, which secures the board. And yep, I got the nut draw this game. <clears throat> if they attack with Profane Emissary, do I trade? I think the answer is yes, because I have more things coming out down the pipeline, and I don't want Profane Emissary to live for too long. Actually, how close am I to buffing Pell Scatter again? The profane. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't trade because I want to be able to turn this guy to a 5-5 five, five and then start brickwalling the Profane Emissaries. That means for a while nobody's going to be able to attack. Uh, if I top deck another land, I get to a Reclamation Grove Sculptor, which turns off the Pollet Pools, so they need to fetch another one, which uh, doesn't necessarily screw over their draw because they might just need a land right now anyways. It's certainly something. So Dread Ramsey now. Uh, not really. I can, I can go Recall and then into Ramsey, and that turns it to 5-5. Five, five. Uh, nah, I'm just going to Reclamation Grove Sculptor. Do it the easy way. If they fetch another Pollet Pools and don't have a way to kill Reclamation Grove Sculptor, uh, there goes all their demons. Or there goes all their Pollet Pools. They can still fetch a Jejun, I guess, which is extremely scary. So I should keep around Pell Scarlet in order to answer the Jejun later on. Actually, yeah, how do I answer? If they, if they just play Jejun, they have to sack Profane Emissary to do that. Yes. No, they, they don't have the mana to do that anymore. I think I, I use this opportunity to attack. So, yeah, I use this opportunity to attack. If they use next turn to fetch a Pollet Pools and play it, then whatever. I trump one, block the other. Yeah, seems pretty solid. Uh, take force of the face. Next turn I get to go recall into Ramsey and that busts Pell Scour up to a 5-5. Five, five. It looks like they're not going to fetch with Profane Missary, which means they have a demon in hand. Uh, what's their demon of choice? Oh, they literally have Juju in hand? No, they're, they're just going to play Ego. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, uh, that's scary. Uh, hopefully it never happens. Hopefully the game ends before then. And they're also not... Uh, Alright, so if I... Oh, there we go. So Curse into Ramsey. That's a 6-6, so I get to attack with Reclamation Grove Sculptor. Or no, I get to attack with Pelska. I can attack with Reclamation Grove Sculptor to try to mass screw them, I guess. Doesn't feel great, though. Okay, do everything I want to do. No, I cannot. I can't afford to wait around forever because Larian Alpha is going to be this thing if I wait around for too long. And my deck doesn't actually have any ways, doesn't have great ways to answer its own Larian Alpha. If I attack with both, they have to, like, they can't, they, they need to trade Infectious Eagle plus a Profane Missary for it. So that gets one Eagle off the board, which is pretty good for me. It also Mass screws them, as previously mentioned. But yeah, I will, I, I, yeah, I guess I will start off with Recall just to see why I draw. Pell Scatter. Uh, yeah, I can play that. Cool. That's extremely good for me. And I guess this is fetching Lorish and Crevasse because I do want to get up to Tyrant Mana eventually. Yeah. And I mean, technically, I can also go Curse into Ramsey, which buffs this guy to a 6 6, which gives me better attacks than. I think it's good enough, just as is. Going down to 11 is kind of scary, but hopefully it doesn't matter too much. But they can always fetch Jejun and then haste me if they find another demon to sack. But again, just hope that doesn't happen. Uh, so yeah, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm one land away from Tyrant, and I do think I swing out. I mean, okay, so what happens if they? So they block, block. I kill Ego. I kill. I whack them. They no reclamation Grove sculptors down, so they get to fetch Pollet pools. Yeah, I think I'm fine. Just gonna attack. Uh, yeah, start massacring you. They're going to chump, and they're gonna keep Ego around. Okay, interesting. They're just not going to try to trade. Okay, cool. I get to block their Infectious Ego attack, unless they have the removal spell, in which case I just chump the Ego. Or no, I don't, do I need to chump the Ego right now? Uh, maybe I do. Oh, they have Xanagan, I see. That's why. Or no, they have another Ego. Oh, okay. That's starting to get really scary, because that's drawing them a bunch of cards that might be actually useful. They have Lay Rain coming down next turn. If I top deck a land, I get to play Tyrant, and that No, I, actually, I just get to Ramsey into Tyrant, right? Because Ramsey is actually map positive now, thanks to all these enchantments. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I play Ramsey, that's 1, two, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Or that's Ramsey, so that's 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I can Ramsey into Tyrant. So unless they discard me, unless they Veldez me and exactly... Okay, yeah, uh, the game's over. Uh, more Ramseys, cool. I even have the mana left over to play Curse so that my Petal Scatters remain buffed. But, but yeah, game's over. And uh, yeah, there's Tyrant Tributes. Have fun deciding what cards to sack the Tyrant. I might get them on an odd again. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight. No, so but that's still pretty good. Uh, they still get this thing. They still keep this guy around though. Oh, at least I won a hard fought game. Well, the, the entire reason I won this game is because they did not keep turn one discard for my turn one primary surgeons. If they discarded my turn primary surgeons, the game would have been a lot more different because I wouldn't have been able to get ahead this much. Anyways, since they didn't do that, uh, yeah, I guess I just get to keep attacking with my five fives. That outsize their four for a life linker, and they're just not gonna take. They're, or they're not gonna block. Okay, uh, they don't have board wipes, so I don't think they can get out of this. You know, blood Jade profit. Oh, they finally top deck something useful. And no, it's not useful. I mean, no, they're pretty good cards, but not enough to not make them lose. And yeah, all right. At least I won my first round, so that's something at least. Yeah, maybe I'll be able to top cut. I mean, Timber Ramp. It is a very strong deck. It can't get net draws, but it definitely does have uh, very visible weaknesses. For now, yeah, just trade. Do you have a removal spell? I, I, do you have Rift Splicing? Ah, crap. They might have Rift Splicing, in which case, the god, they have... Oh, well, they at least they didn't... Well, they probably didn't bring in Rift Splicing. Yeah. Close games, too. Uh, didn't expect to win a second one. But yeah, so that's my round one game. Uh, see you next time.